Hello, and in this screencast about Apache ISIS, I want to show you a new feature that's coming in version 112, which is uh, improved support for dynamic customizable layouts. Um, and what I'm going to do for, to demo this is to use the uh, to do app that we have in the ISIS add ons. Uh, add ons. And uh, here's the application I have running. And so if you're used to seeing Apache ISIS, there's a few things you might notice that are different. Uh, the main one being uh, we can now put our properties into different uh, tabs. And the same is true also for the collections. And so the way in which this is uh, managed is through a layout file. And so I actually have the file here. And if I just collapse this, um, you'll be able to sort of hopefully understand how what you just saw there in the in, in Chrome corresponds. So we have uh, three rows. So the first row is is this row, which is where the icon and title is, and domain object basically means represent that, uh, and it would correspond to the domain object layout uh, annotation if you're familiar with that. Uh, then the next uh, row is. <coughs> is this guy. So it's basically a single column which is spanning the entire width. Um, you'll notice BS3, that's a Bootstrap 3, so we basically model the grid layout on Bootstrap 3. And within the the um, that, that single column that spans the entire width we've got a, a tab group and within the tab group we have three tabs and they correspond here, properties other and metadata. And uh, and then within there we have um, well a row again, and then we'll have uh, two columns this time, uh, each six, which is going to divide that particular first tab into two uh, equal columns, and then within the first column we have two field sets, actually sorry a single field set I should say, a uh, general, and uh, similarly in the other. <coughs> we actually have a single field set as well. And so that's how that works effectively. And then if we have a look at the third um, of our rows, we've just got two collections. Over here we have a similar two and a dependencies. And so what I can do now is I can start to move things around. So for example, if I wanted to maybe put my two collections into separate tabs, then I could do that. What I would want to do is create a row and then have a column within there and then within there I'm going to have a tab group and my first tab could be called similar to and then that will have a column which will be the full width and uh, while I'm here I might just do the same again and let's have another tab which will be dependencies and now what I can do is just move this collection up into that column of that tab of that tab group and this other one up there. So um, what we'll just then do is do a reload change classes. That's going to copy that layout file into the target directory so that when we refresh the page, this will get picked up from the class path. You can see now that we've moved those two collections into two tabs. What else? I noticed that the next and the previous are the wrong way around. So let's maybe fix that. So we'll open this guy and um, properties and um, let's just move those around. Let's reload. Change classes. And uh, reload there. That's that sorted out over there. What else can we do? This is a, a little button um, if I want to move that one down, let's see, position this, move that below, let's reload, that's great. Uh, these buttons here on the panel, they would correspond to this, so we can say position is um, panel drop down, say. So that's now a drop down. And um, there we are. So that's the general idea. Um, going to the dashboard, you can see I've laid this out in a similar sort of fashion. So just to sort of see another example uh, to do uh, app dashboard layout. So this is divided, I've chosen into three columns. 
of a 2 and a 5 and a 5, making up the full width of 12. And here um, you can see what I've done is I've got the, 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 I, the icon and title of dashboard and then underneath I've taken three of my actions and, um, oh, sorry, four actions I should say, uh, of which three are visible and they are all represented here. Also notice I've got um, some custom CSS and so this custom CSS if we look to see how it's used is rendered on the on the div that represents that area and then what I can do is I can combine this with um, some application CSS so here you've I've got effectively the styling for that and that means that I can make these things span the entire area just to sort of see the what's going on there if I just were to change one of those values to something different then reload then hopefully not that one next one along I should done let's try that again you can see that that uh, CSS is no longer there so it doesn't make the thing stretch across so so there we are that's um gives you a feeling for what you can do which is quite a lot I suppose and uh, I hope that was interesting this is coming in version 1.12.0 um, so look out for that arriving in the next um, couple of weeks maybe month at the outside uh, so by the end of March 2016 alright cheers bye now